welcome to all of you my dear sweet friends welcome to the instant english class if you want to english if you want to develop your english speaking skill then you have to follow this channel and my very again once again my cordial welcome to all the english learners beginners and freshers my welcome to all of you my warm regards to all of you okay now we are going to discuss about 10 magical questions i want to give you 10 magical questions for practice english at home only if you don't want to learn in a public uh, if you don't want to practice if you don't want to practice in the, with your friend circle with the society members then with the civilians then you have to speak yourself uh, you have to speak to yourself only like you, you can do the mirror practice as well so to why you by using these type of questions you can improve your english language very easily and instantly so that is why i am going to give you these questions to speak yourself perfectly to speak don't mind don't mind about your mistakes don't mind about your uh, grammatical mistakes about your uh, means meaningless uh, sentences don't mind it doesn't matter if you learn once you learn you will understand where you are falling then you you can amend accordingly and then you can rectify yourself don't go to others okay you will understand thoroughly don't uh, means don't bother yourself because we are the learners we should not bother about our mistakes if we bother we are not learners okay that is bullshit so that's why we have to go on speaking so i have given you uh, 10 questions and if you if you want then we can speak only 10 to within 10 to 15 sentences okay within 10 to 15 sentences sentences but you have to speak you can go on speaking okay you should go on speaking and you must go on speaking i have given here the sentences i will we will discuss one by one okay i will uh, apply to myself only okay speak about yourself about myself i will speak i am vinay hermat and my father is uh, uh, basai hermat and i am living in bf first sem and uh, i am purely from kannada medium background and uh, now i took in B, in uh, first uh, means uh, 10 plus 1 10 plus 2 i have cleared my arts background with the english medium and uh, now we are going to now i am taking i am now i am pursuing the bachelor degree with uh, english honors and i am learning in ba first sem in english in bijapur in bijapur district in the anjuman e islam college itself okay i have very good faculty there this is all about uh, I spoke about myself, yourself, yourself you have to speak and I, I have spoken myself only. Speak about your family background. My family background is, I am, I am now I am 20 years old and I am elder than my, my brother. My brother is Aditya, he is younger than me and uh, we are only uh, two brothers for my, means we are only two sons two children for my, uh, my for my father and mother and my guardians are my father name is Basaya Nurnay Harimat and my mother name is Lalita Basaya Harimat and we are uh, leading very happy and uh, enjoyable journey yet and uh, ahead also this is all about my family and uh, sp I spoke about my family members I, again re relatives are also there you should not have to enhance the speech you should not have to stretch the conversation but just you have to speak about your family that's all. that's enough that's more than enough speak about your daily routine my daily routine is i wake up usually i i get up at early in the morning fifth uh, five o'clock and i take my uh, i take i brush my teeth and i go to toilet and i usually or often i take hot water or warm water in the morning and uh, I, take, I take some snacks or coffee or tea and uh, I go for reading for some time the, after that um, I go to sweep the floor outside of my home and after that I go to bring the milk to my home and newspaper to my home like that so many uh, daily routine uh, sentences are there but here uh, for this short time for the limited time I am not going to stretch the sentences okay now another question what did you do what did you do yesterday here we have to speak with uh, using the structure of uh, subject plus head plus with triple subject this is of uh, past perfect tense or you can speak with the structure of past simple uh, simple tense like subject plus with triple subject 
you by using subject plus subject plus subject you can frame the questions you can frame the answers like i went to school yesterday and uh, with the uh, past perfect tense like had uh, subject plus had plus with plus subject i had done my work yesterday i had done my homework yesterday i had i had eaten uh, mangoes yesterday and uh, i had enjoyed with my friends yesterday and uh, i have means i had some snacks some extra dishes some special dishes with my home with my family members like that we have to speak we can, we should go on speaking only then then only it will be possible to improve ourselves instantly in english okay you know whatever what will you do tomorrow means the uh, will will means tomorrow means it will it is uh, giving us the futuristic uh, situations so you have to speak about tomorrow means we have to predict like means there will be the plan like i will go for uh, i will get up at 5 o'clock usually i uh, tomorrow also i will get up at 5 o'clock and i go for walking i go for jogging and i i return to my home i take i take bath i brush my teeth i take bath and uh, i take breakfast i take special dishes at night i will take the suffer a night suffer and uh, i will go to my uh, bed but before that in uh, mm, mean afternoon i will go with my friends and uh, i will arrange the meeting with my friends and i will go, i am going to meet uh, my childhood friends tomorrow like that you have to frame the questions and uh, sorry frame the answers and you, you can frame the sentences like that to these questions for answering these questions only 10 to 15 lines there uh, those are more than enough i think for you what is your aim about my aim i am going to after pursuing after uh, completing after finishing my graduation i will go for post graduation in ma english and uh, i along with that i will go for the coaching of uh, for the competitive exams after that i will uh, simultaneously i will give the uh, means attempts for the civil competitive exams and that is my aim and i want to uh, serve for the nation and after that means along with my another some ambitions are there means i wish to do i want to means become an orator an english orator i want to be a writer i want to uh, be become a painter i want to become a means court writer i want to become i want to do uh, harmonium player like that we how to i want to be a singer like that uh, the means aims uh, we all have in our life so that's why this is all about my aim and uh, seventh question speak about your friends and friendship my friends are also there best friends are different and friends are different and friend friendship is different best best friends confidence 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 uh, dent is different confident is different I mean, confident means um, means he is more than a best friend atma means uh, okay i will tell you mm, about uh, friends friends means uh, my best friends are there my best friends re- list is very very less then you have also very less fr- best friends but friends group is very uh, lengthy very huge but best friends are very very less for all of us so that, that's why this is all about my best friends and i have the uh, good friend circle with me and uh, those are very humble to me and uh, with uh, there is uh, those are suitable for my my mindset and are very kind and uh, kind hearted helpful and uh, who all have the very um, means help helping nature and those are also suitable for my mindset and uh, they are always helping me they are kidding me they are <coughs> i know <coughs> that they will never fail means they uh, they will stand by um, besides me they will stand <coughs> by me during my tough times and during my uh, uh, means happy moments okay this is all about my friends and friendship who uh, what do you do what do you do in your leisure time i think in your leisure time all will go on using the mobile phones but in their leisure time but i think in in their leisure time they will do all the extra activities but in their whole time they will use the mobile phones because this is the new trend so that's why 
but my instruction my suggestions to all of them is that as a good friend of you i will tell you one thing we should not have to use the mobile phones if you want to use then you have to use in your leisure time only don't be uh, don't live for using the mobile phones okay like that we have to use uh, for our only uh, this is only requisite for our studies and for our betterments but don't go if it will be more uh, it, if it will be the more usage then it will harm our life and it will ruin our life so that's why we should have to minimize the using of mobile phones what about you what about your school your school or college you, sh you should go on speaking about your school my school is very uh, means famous in all over the city and uh, i have learned from uh, first to 10th there and there were very good uh, faculties are there good and best mentors are there to teach us and they are always encouraging they are very kind hearted and uh, they are very knowledgeable and they will always give us the secret of success and these all about our uh, faculties and apart apart from it uh, apart from the teachers the environment of my school is very means uh, which has which which have of very good atmosphere of uh, means education and uh, there were the uh, trees around the uh, means in the surrounding of our school and uh, our school had very big playground in front of the school gate like that we have to speak about our school and college about last about your favorite teacher you have to speak my favorite teacher is so and so and he is very kind hearted he is ideal for me he is my role model and uh, he is very knowledgeable he uh, i am going to means i am going to follow his footsteps ever and uh, forever and endeavor endeavor and ever and ever like that and uh, he is very knowledgeable he passed uh, means so and so exams and he is always role model for us and uh, he he had a very good knowledge and uh, he had given some coaching means uh, given some suggestions and coachings and guidelines to the other students also and uh, he is very good and knowledgeable and kind very famous well known and and good means he has very good friend circle and uh, he is very kind with us he is also like my friend like that we have to speak about our favorite teacher these are the 10 questions the issues practice yourself better in better manner then you will, uh, 100% you will improve your english definitely and i assure you you will learn thoroughly with these if you find this uh, video informative and uh, <coughs> you know it then you have to subscribe to my channel i hope you enjoyed a lot by learning this thank you very much thank you thank you thank you so much